Hello, my name is Caitlin Foster, and today I'm going to be talking about borderline personality disorder. Borderline personality disorder is a very common mental illness affecting more than 3 million Americans. Although this mental illness is very common, most people know little about it. Many mental health professionals even refuse to see clients with this diagnosis because of insufficient research and treatments. Today, I'm going to be telling you about warning signs and symptoms of BPD, common treatments, and explaining how to love and care for someone who has BPD day to day. People with borderline personality disorder normally have lives marked by instability in emotions, relationships, and careers. Fluctuating moods, experiencing intense emotions, and struggling with impulse control are markers of BPD. Self-harm and suicidal ideations and actions are some of the most common indicators of BPD. Because of this, people with BPD have a ch higher chance of ending up in inpatient treatment because they are a threat to their own safety. Along with poor impulse control, frequent, moods, frequent mood swings make having normal and healthy relationships difficult for people with BPD. They tend to be manipulative and, rec and reckless in relationships and often struggle with showing genuine empathy. Next, I'm going to be talking about different treatments for BPD. Dialectical behavior therapy has been proven to be helpful to those diagnosed with BPD. DBT focuses on four coping mechanisms, mindfulness, interpersonal effectiveness, emotion regulation, and distress tolerance. DBT is commonly used in, conjunct in conjunction with medication. The next type of therapy is transference-focused therapy, and it is a form of therapy um, specific to BPD. TFT focuses on unhealthy coping mechanisms that the patient may have and replacing those with healthy, co healthy coping mechanisms. A basic understanding of TFT is that the patients will display unhealthy interactions with their therapist. There are also medications that can be used to treat BPD, and can, they can be incredibly effective. Antipsychotics are most often prescribed, however, mood stabilizers are also an effective option. According to the work of May, Riccardi, and Barth, therapies are believed to be more effective than medications, but if therapies are not successful, medications can be prescribed. Lastly, I'm going to be talking about how to care and love for someone who has BPD. Um, the, it's very important to extend lots of grace to people who have BPD. Do research to understand more about their daily struggles and ask how you can be of help to them. And while it is necessary to extend lots of grace to people with BPD, it's also important not to let them act manipulatively or act recklessly because of their wild emotions. In conclusion, borderline personality disorder is a very common mental illness and often goes untreated. Today, I've told you about common symptoms of BPD, common treatments, and how to care for someone who has borderline personality disorder. Thank you.